now next is the uh, we have a string tokenizer class now this class we can use to break a string into different tokens depending upon any uh, delimiter that you can decide or any you know separator that we can use to separate the string so i can take any string say a paragraph So this is a paragraph. What I'm doing, uh, trying to do is, I'll take up a word, separate the words of this paragraph, and try to print them, uh, one word in one line. So string tokenizer, I'll define new string tokenizer. So I'll just need to import this. Now what I need to pass to this is a string whom I need to tokenize and then the separator. So I'll see the string to separate is para and the delimiter is the space. So the space is the you know the factor with which it will separate the string. So we'll get it will take out this then is then a, a paragraph so wherever it finds a space it will pick the string off and it will make that equal to a token so for for string tokenizer space is the limiter that tells it that this is the point where you need to pick up the token so it has a loop of has more elements or has more tokens So till the time it has more tokens, we can continue the loop and in every loop we can take out a token. We can say st dot next token and we can print this token. So this is a small interesting class that we can use. We can we have even the facility within the string class uh, using the method split. But this is some class which is specially designated for this purpose and has much more flexibility than what I have shown in this program. So this is what it has done. It has broken the string into various tokens and how uh, we decide that what is one token is the limiter that we give to this constructor. So we have said that this space is what decides where the next token ends. So according to that it has broken the string into various tokens and has solved the purpose of taking out all the words from this string. So this is class string tokenizer and this completes our tutorial on string.